Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is a part 3 of our statistics series of our numeracy past questions. Before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like and share this video to as many people that need it. Okay, let's proceed to the question. Now, this is one of the past questions that came out. We shall be tackling the question 2a for the question 2b check through our channel and i'm sure you see a video that answers it now, moreover i'll most likely suggest this at the top right hand corner of your screen now let's proceed to the question a student in two classrooms were given a mathematics test the first classroom had 25 students and their average score was 86 percent the second classroom had 15 students and their average score was 95 percent if the teacher combined the test scores of students in both classes what is the average score for each sorry what is the average score for both classes solution first of all they are talking of average Synonymous to the word the mean. How do we normally compute the mean? The mean is normally gotten by summing up the total values involved in a data set and you divide it by the total number of data sets or values you have. So in those is we say summation x over n or sigma fx over sigma f. Is the same as what I just said. You find the sum of all the values in the data set and you divide it by the total number of values in the data set. Your understanding of the mean is very important. So, what does the mean here really talk about, or what is it about? If a teacher administers a test in a class and the average is let's say six okay he administers a test and the test was marked out of 10 or let's say a class of 20 students and when he finished he took the sum of all the marks he had for each student and divided it by the total number of students in the class that would mean or that would be the mean but what does the mean actually mean the mean refers to the score each person would have if they were all to have an equal score okay let me repeat see the average or the mean as a score each person would have if they were all to have the same or equal score thus if I happen to be given the mean of six for this number of students we talked about for the 20 students I can quickly also get back the total for all the students by multiplying the six by 20 since the mean actually mean a score each person would have if they were all to have the same score or equal score so this is what we are basically going to apply in this particular question okay so now they said the first classroom had 25 students and their average score was 90 96 percent okay so it means that if all of them were to have the same score each person would have gotten 86 percent so thus we can get the total score for that class by what multiplying 25 by 86 percent and that will give us 2150 percent now let's move to the second class the second class had 15 students and the average score was 94 percent now what does the 94 percent mean that means if each student or if each person was to have the same score each one would have gotten 94 percent that is what is meant by average so thus the total score for the second class would have been 15 times 94 percent which will equal 1410 percent please 
when going into write search examinations don't forget to go with your calculators and remember foreign materials like mobile phones are not allowed okay so now now that we have gotten the total or the grand totals for each particular score let's now calculate our new average or the average score for both classes so what we will simply do is that we add the total scores for both classes and divided by the total number of students in both classes to get our new average okay so now the average score for both classes will be equal to the overall total over number of students in both classes and that is simply going to give us the average score for both classes will be equal to 2150% plus 1410% 1, all over 25 plus 15 and that simply equals to 3560% over 40 so that means the total score for both classes will be 3560% and the total number of students in both classes will be 40 since 25 plus 15 is equal to 40 and that simply gives us the answer 89% when you divide that means our adjusted mean for both classes is going to be 89 percent therefore the average score for both classes is simply 89 percent i hope you understood everything i presented if you have questions please leave them in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe like and share now for the question two B on the question 2B, check in our channel and you are sure to find a solution to that part as well. Thank you for your time and may God bless you. Goodbye.